What's going on everybody? Welcome to T3G. I'm Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. And today we're going to be talking about Kingsman. Let's do Focus first. I guess we're going to be doing Focus. <laughs> Let's just mix the two together. And no, kind of no, 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 no. <laughs> we're talking about Focus because I think it's going to be a little faster. Just because I think it was a good movie. I think it was a really good movie. Let me, let me, let me clarify that. I think it is on my list of best, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about my favorite, but I'm talking about the best Will Smith movies, it is, it's a solid number three. Because it's really hard to beat uh, Pursuit of Happiness in Seven Pounds for me. Well, right, yeah, but those were like, I mean... Those were above it, and beyond like a really good movie. Right, I mean, I think it all but depends on But I think this is, also... this is the best, yeah, yeah, this is the best anything besides those two. Right, <laughs> right, no, absolutely. His and... best performance, the best, like, production quality is ridiculous, the, the the story is so well done that I didn't see a couple things coming. Um, and then at the same time, right at the end, I did see that coming. And I was kind of like, okay, right. but like, I think you were supposed to. Right. I think it was kind of going to be that moment where you realize what was going on. And then, of course, it wasn't, it wasn't you know. I will say this, man. Overall, this movie, uh, on point with the jokes. On point. Oh, hilarious. On point with... Uh, making you think about what's about to happen, uh, making you nervous about what's about to happen. Because, like, there was that one part where, uh, you know, they, they do their heist in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. They make $1.2 million. He gets the bag of $1.2 million. And yeah. And his partner's like... No, no, but no gambling. No gambling, right? And then they go to this football game, and he gambles it all away. Right. $1.2 million, I was like... All of it Dad. done, and he's like, "Let's double." And I'm like, "Where well, you gonna get another 1.2 mil, Will? Right, right." He's like, "Double." He's like, "Pick any player on the field, and, and then, I'll guess the number." And he's like, "Even better, she'll guess. She'll the guess number. the number." The, and when and that the guy's whole nuts, thing, the guy's going crazy. He's like, "You're crazy. I like it." And when 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 that whole thing transitioned into what it is, I I it, I was mind blown. I was yeah, like, this yeah. is awesome. I mean, that movie was just on on the nose on everything. Nothing was over the top. Nothing was, uh, like, yeah. the pace was just right. Nothing, there was not one time I'm like, okay, let's get to the next part. Like, the whole time yeah, I was absolutely. just enjoying myself. And uh, it was just a great movie. I'm, I'm glad to see uh, Will come back from After Earth. Yeah, you know. I, and let's be really, serious. Really, most will, people, like, will come back from After right. Earth because what, what did he do? He did After Earth, and before that, what was it? Uh, Men in Black Three, I think. Men in Black Three. So like, which was a good movie. I enjoyed. I mean, it was Black good, 3, but like, but... you know, that's kind of like its own thing. Right. Exactly. Like After Earth was really a disappointment in so many ways, and like if you watch the cinema sense for After Earth, that pretty much tells you everything you need to know. Like, I, I don't really say that about many movies with cinema sense. Like, I, I enjoy cinema sense. They're a good channel. Uh, but like, that is like 100% on point and that's the reason why that movie was bad. Uh, whereas like, they do that to good movies sometimes and that's just fun, fun to have. Right, right. But right. whatever. Uh, but this was so good. His acting was just to like best, almost, it's not, what I expect from It's not from the Will. best dramatic because it's obviously what I expect said, from the, Will. those two dramatic roles are much better, but this is definitely top notch in, in, if you go into like the action, adventure, comedy kind of yeah. thing. Um, Top notch. I mean, yeah. best. If, if you look at something like Enemy of the State, better than that. Better than Independence Day. Better. I mean, better than better than Men in Black. Be better than Bad Boys. And I love Bad Boys. <laughs> I love Bad Boys, but it's better than Bad Boys. His acting chops are just so on point. Yeah. The script is so on point. I was trying to disagree with you so badly, but no, he's right. Yeah. Yeah, the, the acting on this was just, it was there. It was and, so great because you have these moments where, you know, he's teaching this new person, like, oh, this is this is what happens. You know, it's a big game, you know, every here to spend money everybody has money on them so then you go you go and then like automatically as he's teaching her this he turns it into a con because he's already got people set up so he starts yelling at her like they're having a you know a relationship argument and everyone's like what the hell is right. you know these crazy people and then everybody's like duck grabbing people's stuff and like they but just made off with a couple thousand dollars you know? I, I will say this i mean like i said it's on point Acting is great. Comedy is perfect. The pace is just right. The director, great job. I don't even know who it was. Great job. Fantastic. This movie was just fantastic. Put really, great just together. Top, it just 
Everything yeah. just flew perfectly. Watch this movie. Watch it in theaters. Just pay full price, pay men. I don't care what you pay. Just pay it and yeah. go see it. Go, it's go see it. it. Go see it's it on the big it. screen. See it on Netflix when it comes out. Buy the DVD. Buy the Blu-ray. Like it, this is a like I couldn't. This is probably I think our highest rated movie thus far. Um, I want to switch it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to switch it up. I want to change. Normally you do five stars. I I haven't been liking the five stars. I want to do ten stars. I feel like with ten stars you okay. can probably give it a B, a C. You know. Okay. Like that. So like a ten, a ten star rating. Ten All star right. rating. So we're gonna go with that from now on. We're changing up on the fly right now. For me. Nine and a half. It is not a perfect movie. It is not a perfect movie. But it's damn near perfect. It's damn close. I put, I give a nine and a half for sure. Now, for me, that scale is Iron Man being the perfect movie. Right, exactly. exactly. Um, I give it a solid nine. I give it a solid nine. Yeah, so we're right there with each other. Yeah, and, I think uh, that's a solid nine because that's a really, I'm really... going to look this up real quick. Yeah, let's, let's check what the other people yeah. had to say. Let's see here. Yeah. Because it's it's just fantastic, and there's just so many good things about this movie. The acting, the the characters, the characters are so well written. The you know you even though you don't spend a lot of time with the crew of, of that main character, you know Nikki's crew, you don't really see a lot of them. You see two or three of them for a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the outside, whole of, crew? yeah. But there's like thirty or forty yeah. people. He said, you know, we're, he said we're thirty or forty deep, and um, I said, but like. You don't really see, but most of those people, you don't really deal with them. But you feel like you're part of that whole thing, yeah. and like no, you it's, really it's a, do, it's and really it's well just done. really well put together. Mm -hmm. But IMDb is giving it a seven point one out of ten, and Rotten Tomatoes, uh, to obviously Rotten Tomatoes, uh, a little different when it comes down to the rating. They kind of just take the total of everything and put it together. Sure, um, but they gave it three out of five stars. It got about a fifty-seven percent. Dang, that's yeah. rough. That is rough. I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't know what people don't like about this. Yeah, me neither. Honestly, I don't know. I truly don't know how you. Can I don't give know it if they were maybe expecting something different. Like it's not summer. It's not supposed to be an action movie. It's no, definitely it's not an like movie. a. It's, it's a con movie. It's, it's a con it's movie. A, Do you like if you like oceans? Oh, absolutely. You're going to enjoy this. On point with Oceans, on point with... Uh, it's kind of a mix between Oceans... Um, uh, what is it? Um, now Cal? You See Me? Now, now You See Me? Now You See Me? Because yeah, there was that yeah, twist. Yeah, 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 There's yeah, yeah, a lot of twists yeah, yeah, in that yeah. one. So it's between, you know, Oceans, Now You See Me, and, and Confidence. If you've never seen Confidence, see that movie. I still haven't but seen it's Confidence, kinda, but it's you're kind of a mix right. between those three where there's a lot of really good acting, there's a lot of really interesting story... And the actual characters are so, so good at what they do that you believe whatever yeah. they want you to believe at that minute. And it's like everybody just did a great job. Everybody that was at least had decent amount of lines in the movie. So like his partner in the beginning had, was mm -hmm. really good at what he was talking about. I love the point. I love the part where he's trying to explain to her. Uh, uh, what yeah, he, he gives, needs to do. He he's like, all right, whole, <laughs> He gives her this whole thing, which I think was an excellently executed line yeah just, absolutely he had, he had probably this is probably 30 or 40 lines of of just straight dialogue with a straight face in the middle of probably 100 people around him and he's just going straight to her face and then she's like i'm sorry what uh, i love and he's that. like all right plan okay b. plan b uh, i love that i absolutely <laughs> love that i thought everything was great nobody overacted i wouldn't yeah. say because it didn't feel like anybody overacted if i would say if anybody overacted maybe the female lead maybe and that's a big maybe. I don't know if she overacted. I think she, at times, was because she was playing a role. Right. Uh, you know, it, that her thing was that she was playing a role. Right. And she kind of overdid it on that sure. part. You know, she was playing her own, how, how to phrase it, like Jess, the character, was playing another role of, of trying to get to sure, you absolutely. Know, the, the, right, the guy right. who owns the racing no, company. I get what you're saying. And uh, but the, only thing, the only person I would say is... And I think I've seen him in a couple other things. Is the guy who is actually uh, running the racing company, uh, the guy who Nikki works for towards the end of the movie. Uh, he, I think, was a little over the top. Um, I okay. think he was a little too. He reminded me very much of um, uh, Johnny Tilapia from from Bad Boys Two. Like, oh, okay. Like okay. very much. Like a little over the top Spanish, right? Right, like, right, right. I, I enjoyed him actually. I thought he did a good job. Um, 
I actually enjoyed his acting. Like I said, and th that was a big maybe. If I was to say anybody overacted a role, it, it's a big maybe that it was the female lead. But at the end of the day, I mean, it, it, almost a near perfect movie. Yeah, a near really, perfect really movie. good. I, I love that movie. That I will be seeing it again. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm, I will be it, buying it. It, it and won't. Then it won't be it a anymore. day one purchase just because I'm a little stingy with my yeah, with my yeah, purchases. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but it's definitely gonna be a purchase. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the Black Friday deals or something on sale. <laughs> yeah, but it's. I mean, if you have the money to spend, then it's a day one purchase. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but uh, no, absolutely. There's really I don't think anything else that can be said about There's the movie. Really Go see else. it. Uh, absolutely, we highly recommend it. Um, it. Is it worth on a big screen? I think so. Yeah, I think, so. I think there's, there's enough so much really going cool on stuff. during yeah. the heist parts that the bigger there, screen there, There's a lot of wide shots and a lot of really cool stuff to, yeah. to see from afar. Because so. all the sleight of hand and stuff like that, it's really yeah. good to see on a bigger screen. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, that's, that's basically our review of Focus. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up down below. Uh, make sure you check out t3gtech.com. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Um, if you have, share it with your friends. If they yeah. like some movie reviews or tech reviews or yep. uh, whatever we talk about. Talk and, uh, yeah, make sure you check out Facebook. We've got our contest going on if you want to possibly possibly get some headphones or a new router. Yeah. So, as always, I have been Cerebro. Full throttle. For T3G, signing off.